Hey, it's Crack36. Uh, real quick, I wanted to tell you uh, what I did with my 60-bit. So I am playing against Arthur Bomber, uh, Andrew A. Gamer. He is an excellent player. Uh, just so devastating for the Germans. He is just as happy to capture Moscow as he is to grab this area right here and just roll you. Uh, so what did I do? I will tell you what I did. I added a factory to Egypt. So turn one, I can dump naval units right into the med. Um, so minor factory. Boom. Right there. First turn. Almost, almost impossible to take Egypt, I would think, at this point in time. Uh, I'm going to add... I'm going to add a fighter to here. This is for the Yunnan Gambit. That's uh, where you send the fighters to Yunnan. And speaking of the Yunnan Gambit, I will add an infantry. There, $60 bid. You say, Randy, how could you? That that's, doesn't seem fair. Yeah. <laughs> this guy, yeah, is fair. Believe it or not. Can I add a artillery here? So that whatever... If he came into Yunnan, uh, I could hit him. And if he comes into Hunan, I can hit him pretty good, too. And then there's a backup artillery as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then, just for the fear of it, I, just for the possibility that I could do something very unusual and push into war with um, the Japanese turn one, undeclared war, uh, provoke a war, uh, leave the Americans out in the cold. Oops, sorry. I put these units in. So that means that uh, if I were to push into Yunnan with the British, I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight for the anti-aircraft. Not to mention the three Russian uh, fighters plus all of these guys. I, he'll probably take Hunan, but he won't take these guys plus the four I purchase. So that's, uh, that's a pretty good stack. Um, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, um, 27, 28, 29, 29 in Yunnan, turn one. Uh, now he'll be able to bring in, if he, he'll be able, he'll be able to bring in, uh, I think it's, there's three transports. So it won't be a cakewalk. Let's put it that way. See what he does. But I did add a fighter here. And I could could coordinate a, a gathering of forces in a moor with the Yunnan stack. Um, and a British declaration of war. And that puts some pretty hot pressure on Japan. Um, turn one. Wouldn't be able to do either, do both, right? He wouldn't be able to both wipe out Yunnan and um, wipe out Amor. So I think that's it. Uh, Ten. Uh, and then eight. Uh, Eighteen. Twenty-one. Three more. And then eight more. Uh, 21, 29, plus 5 more, 34, 34 and 12, 44, 46, 56. So apparently I'm missing one. I'm uh, missing one. Um, what is it? Uh, 
fighter in the Moore Moscow factory artillery in Szechuan, Shensi as well. Shensi gets one as well. Not bad, not bad. So sixty dollars. I mean, pretty amazing. Pretty amazing that this guy can still come up with a victory. So, so obviously with this push, a lot of pressure. Uh, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine extra units in the Pacific. Um, it does uh, mean that um, he will he, he's going to be able to succeed in Europe more than I'd like, but that's the facts, Jack. I tried a big Europe push last time; didn't work out too well. So that's what I did with my bid. I'm hoping to put a severe amount of pressure on Japan. All right, crack it out.